Grandma's boy from 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie Christopher Larimer. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Grandma's boy. I don't know too much about it going into it. I know we got a couple of characters, or at least one character that was in Happy Gilmore. Not necessarily character, but same actor that was in Happy Gilmore in this. Uh, I know it's a comedy movie as well. And that's about it, man. So I'm going into it completely blind. Don't know what to expect casting wise. Don't know what to expect movie wise other than laughing my ass off, man. Again, 2006, you guys know that's my personal sweet spot for comedy movies. Most of the comedies from 2000 to 2010, I don't think there's been a single one that I've watched. It didn't absolutely love, man. So I'm excited to check this one out. But guys, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on a new channel, you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff we're doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie the og xbox bro oh my god bro stop you taking me back <laughs> Fuck! bro i love the the older fighting like games tyson fought an infant <laughs> How's it going? Who are you and why are you in my kitchen? Uh, your landlord, he uh, hired us to pick up your stuff. Kicked out. Is it possible? Evicted. For the last six months, he did not pay me rent. All right, Ooh. my friends, pack up everything, put on truck, okay? No, no, that's impossible. We've never missed a payment. Every month, I give Josh hundreds of dollars of my money, and then he writes you a rent check. <laughs> Josh. You <love> so much. <laughs> you love who? <laughs> the girls of Madame Kame's Filipino Palace. You've been spending our rent money on Filipino hookers. Oh hookers. my God. Massage therapist. Now massage your cock. With a little happy ending. Word for that, I think it's hooker. You're a hooker. Ah. Bro, Josh, man, you screwing him. I'll go to Dante's and see if he'll let me stay there. Madam Kame said I could stay at the palace. You're sick. <laughs> Very sick. I know. Ah. <laughs> at least he's self-aware. You forgot smoking lamp. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Was that expensive piece? Mm, probably not. That's your fault, too. Oh, my God, bro. I'd be pissed as hell at Josh if that was my roommate, man. But that, that dude, it just looks like a good time, man. You know, just chilling with your boy. Kick back game. And I love the OG fighting games, bro. Def Jam Fight for New York on the original Xbox was fire. I know that wasn't the game, but that was one of my favorites back in the day. You do a flying downward thrust with the Sword of Doom. Level six is done. Thank you. My dude helping him beat the games, huh? Have I told you today how much I love you? I know this actor too. Sophie left us two weeks ago. So her room is available if you need it. Oh, where'd Ooh. Sophie move to? Heaven. Ooh. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Sophie was so... Uh... Mean and full of hate. Yeah. Ooh, was Sophie like their granddaughter or some just some random? But unfortunately, I promised my friend Jeff I'd stay at his house. And that's why it's called Grandma's Boy. He's gonna have to stay with his grandma, huh? Hey, bro. Grandma's always come through, man. You sure this is okay? Just keep your voice down. My roommates are sleeping. You mean your parents? Yeah, same thing. Not the same thing. Thanks for a present for my roommates. That's cool. It <laughs> Grown ass man. <laughs> um why does he have so much random stuff? What is the floaty for? Oh, that's his air mattress. Your bed is a car. Yeah, but it's a fucking sweet car. <laughs> My roommates said they're gonna get me rims for Christmas. Why does he keep calling them his roommates? Shut up. Eh. Eh. Bro, that's gotta be the most uncomfortable thing ever. It's literally just a floaty, bro. That ain't no air mattress. Eh. <laughs> about right what are we looking for oh. ah. <laughs> bro what dirty dirty adventurer what oh, the hell exploring. <laughs> what is wrong with this dude <laughs> laura no panties you know i liked it like that oh my god what are you doing up oh, oh, oh my god i'm sorry on my mom dude you might be the biggest perv in the world right now what the hell I can't wait 
me up to play video games or something? <laughs> I don't want to disturb you. You're <laughs> oh my gosh. You can keep the doll, by the way. Oh, I was planning on that. <laughs> oh, my doll's poor. Yeah, bro, think about how awkward that must have been to film. It probably was funny as hell to film, man. I wonder how many outtakes there was. What the heck, bro? Who comes up with stuff like that? That is freaking ridiculous, man. This place looks dope as hell. What kind of job is this? Like a video game developer or what? Bro, this is so 2000s, man. Uh, excuse me? The Halo poster. I'm here to oversee the final stages of production on Eternal Death Slayer 3. Oh. oh hi. I didn't know anyone knew was coming in. I'm Alex. I'm one of the testers. Ah, he's a video game tester. Do you usually sleep here? No, I was working late. I, eh. I love work. I love life. <laughs> Good save. That's good to know. Good save. Your office is probably the empty one down the hall. Brush your teeth. I'll see you later. Eh. Brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is so nostalgic, man. Seeing all the old consoles, the big ass PCs, the old monitors, Halo and shit like that. Word on the street is Mr. Cheezle brought some girl here from New York to make sure we finish Eternal Death Slayer on time. Yeah, her yep. name's Samantha. She's really hot. She wants to bang me. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Line up, you fucking nerds. Who wants a shot at the champ? Whoa. Little tournament. Taking the title, old man. The game? Yeah. It's Frog Buck. Bro, there were so many good games on the original Xbox, man. The bat Battlefront. Oh, dude, don't get me started. It. <laughs> Breathing technique. <laughs> Two major titles in one year, and he's programming and designing them all by himself. Oh, well, JP is not normal. He's the Ooh. definition of a prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> Bro, it's literally Neo. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was in the middle of another huge breakthrough with the new game. Breathtaking. <laughs> She's so confused. Uh, I don't believe that we've met. Bro, why is he standing like that? <laughs> Say, JP, why don't you show Samantha around the office? Introduce her to everyone. Sure, I, yeah. <laughs> I'll put my genius on hold for a while. Weird flex, but you, okay. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, Upgrades. Just the kids in their break room. Or as I call it, the stupid idiot room. Mine's the biggest Little resentment, huh? They having fun on their tournament, man. He's an outsider because he tries to hold himself so high, huh? Bro. <laughs> Those chairs with the speakers and everything. Eat that frog dick to me. Eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this. She's enjoying it, man. You never had a chance, Timmy. I'll get you eventually, Graybush. Time is on my side. Graybush. <laughs> Samantha, so you had to hear that. No, congratulations on having a bush. I <laughs> should know each other. <laughs> I woke him up here this morning. He fell asleep working late last night. Yeah, well, that's what old people do. They fall asleep. You guys look like you're close in age. Great outfit. How much do clothes cost in the Matrix? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so funny, I forgot to laugh. I will see you guys later. Hey, Samantha, don't take the red pill. Uh, bro, is that Jonah Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Third nuggets. <laughs> Bro, his sound effects are on point. Oh my god, that is Jonah Hill, bro. What? Is he just a background character in this? I mean, shit. This was 2006. This really cute chick I've known for a long time said that I could sleep over with her and her two crazy girlfriends. Is he talking about his grandma? Oh, my roommate's here. Later, Gator. Later. Eh, roommate, dude. <laughs> How old are you now? I'll be 36 in October. My grandson's gay, too. I'll give you his number. Yeah! Okay, but thank you. Denial. Denial. That grace sure makes me feel warm and welcome. Well, you'd be bitter, too, if you had four husbands die on you. Probably suicide. Either suicides or she's a murderer. So that's chicken cutlet, leftover lasagna, some scrambled eggs. Whole ass buffet. And, oh, oh. This is probably the best meal he had in a minute. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Grandmas are the best. Barry, you'll cover four through six? Yeah, no, I can do that, no problem. You're great. 
Jonah Hill. Jeff, you're already working on seven through nine, so why don't you just stick with those? Let's do it. Hey. The levels, I mean, not the sex. <laughs> Sorry. Alex, I need you to deal with 10 through 15 because those are the real problem levels. He's asleep. He, is he sleeping? Yes, and possibly shitting his pants. <laughs> Wake up, dude. No chores, Grandma. <laughs> Dude's having nightmares. Ooh, what's this? There's a video game I'm making. Kind of oh. a side project. Well, good for you, honey. Hey, you want to play it? I don't know. She's going to love it, huh? You play a demon who's been summoned from hell to clean out this meth lab. <laughs> Let me find out. That's Walt and Jesse's lab. Okay, go in this room. Okay, use your telekinesis power to lift those objects. I don't see a telephone anywhere. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it's like a mind power. Hit the red button. Right. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Use your fireballs to blow a hole in that wall. Dude, this game looks like it would be dope. Is this a good or a bad guy? Uh, that's a bad guy. He's a drug dealer. Kill him. Oh, oh, I hate violence, but oh, drugs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, now go in here and oh. use your lightning to blow up those barrels. She's going to be playing this shit all day. And uh, you know what? I have a little more work to do. So if you want to just uh, uh, get... Uh, your turn. <laughs> He's created a monster. Bro, she's going to have beaten the game. Bro, what? What is going on? Is this the guy he got, he got the tiger from or the lion from? <laughs> How do you two know each other? I'm not the doctor at a cockfight in Pomona. He's hooking me up with the lion. It comes tomorrow. I knew it. Plus, he brought over some crazy Zimbabwean weed that'll turn you into a deer. <laughs> <laughs> you know that lions eat deer, right? <laughs> Doctor, we gotta be careful. <laughs> that shit's probably laced, bro. Thanks for all this, and Doctor. Oh, sorry. Did he really just do that shit? <laughs> oh my gosh. Prune juice. <laughs> is his grandma going to be playing the game still? I got the wings to go with the breast. I don't know what you are, but I'm going to fucking eat you too. <laughs> Dude's having a whole ass buffet. Of course she doesn't have a microwave. She's fucking 100. Oh, that's what he was looking for, bro. Why are you putting a banana in there? Oh, bro. I thought that was the gas. I thought it was about to blow up. Good night, my friend. Sleep well. Ooh, nice time. little camera shot. Uh, bro, what are you doing? God, Dude, it's high, high. Oh, God damn it. Hello, fucking third degree burns, bro. Oh, Jeez. my God. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me your roommates did that to you. Yeah, <laughs> it was my roommates. They, uh, they're crazy. They're, they're crazy. They tied me up. I was like <laughs> one of them. And you know what? Just when I was about to scream for the police, I came. Uh, <laughs> and that felt nice. That is nuts. So Whoa, Alex, what happened? There was a fire, and I was, I was trying to save it from this baby. And a, No, he's and banging his story three changed. roommates. They tied him up last night. They're crazy orgies, like, all week. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're talking about. They're just joking. <laughs> no, we're not. You literally just told us that. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah, shut up. May I see you in my office for a minute, please? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot something. What? This. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. I think he fucking shattered it. <laughs> yeah right oh my god look i know you think i'm really hot too and you want to go out with me after work and get a drink but i have this very serious deadline that my boss gave me so until i finish my levels i can't have any distractions guess i'll just have to suffer until then <laughs> that's kind of smooth she said until then indicating once you done what are you, what doing? Are you doing jp i hate your face what? <laughs> what are these games? You're fucking weird. Dude is really weird. How can he see me? <laughs> Where did you That's my bong. I found that vase in your bag and so I cleaned it. Doesn't it look nice? <laughs> nice little touch. My dude is in the matrix, bro. Look at him. All the numbers and stuff, too. This dude was obsessed with the Matrix. But I know a lot of people were back in the day. It's Neo. <laughs> I had a suggestion for Eternal Death Slayer. 
Oh, you know no. the dwarves and the elves? Three. What? Eternal Death Slayer 3. Don't you think that the dwarves on level 4 look a little too similar to the elves on level 6? Mm. Well, that's an interesting theory, Kane, but redesigning all those characters at this stage would be way too expensive. What if you just rendered them a different color? You know, mm. that would be cheap and quick. Leave the decisions to me, Kane. I just... Boop, I, boop, eject! <laughs> This dude is a clown, bro. And He's gonna I got do an idea. It. Shut up. Mind your own business. Dude's alternate personality coming through like shit, man. Oh no. May I speak to you, my lady? Oh, well, what is with this milady stuff? It Come on. Sorry. Damn. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Still. I just came to tell you that I noticed the dwarves on level four and elves on level six of EDS three look way too similar. He's taking the idea. I do, I can't push the deadline any further. Well, you wouldn't have to if you just rendered them different colors. Stealing the idea. Is a great idea. Those are the only kind I have. <laughs> I wonder if he stole the idea for the game from someone else too. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> In all fairness, bro, his sound effects are good. I gotta give him props on it, right? Hello? Delivery at the front desk for you, Alex. Cool. I hope it's a naked dude with a boner. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Dude, it's probably his Alex's grandma. Desk. Yeah. Oh, no. Can I help you, ladies? Are you looking for Alex? Ooh. Yes, I'm Alex's grandmother, Lily, and these are his roommates. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you, ladies. Well, I'm Samantha. Come on, I'll show you where he works. Okay. Oof, bro. <laughs> Dude's about to get exposed. Is Alex around? He has some visitors. Uh, no. No, he's not. Eh. Jeff covering for him. Hey, we're his roommates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, shit, how do I save Alex this? Alex has been tired all week? Well, we have been sort of rough on him, but he is kind of soft, if you know what I mean. Oof! We're not used to having a man in the house, so I guess we would ride him pretty hard. Oof! I had such fun playing with his new toy all morning, and when he comes home later, he can play with me. Oh my gosh, what a bar. That is so... Jesus. Right. Hey, that's enough, I'm, I'm here. Well, there you are. So awkward. We missed you. I was somewhere else, working very hard on something. Dude, what is going on? This is my grandmother. These are her two roommates. I've been living with them for the last week. Not doing stuff with them. Jerking off with my mom is one thing. But banging your grandmother and your roommates? That's like legendary. You're an idiot. Dude said legendary. Gentlemen, levels 10 through 15. All done. Oh my god. Who wants a piece of the gray bush? <laughs> gray bush. This tea has quite a kick. What is it? I'm not sure. I found this in one of Sophie's old tins, and I just thought it would be nice to do it in, in her memory. Here's tea, Bro, Sophie. they got some weed tea. They gonna be out of it, dude. Oh my gosh. Now remember, they're probably sleeping, so please be quiet. Bro, they're high as hell. <laughs> they are high as hell. Uh, their antlers. He's putting it together. My yep. grandma drank all my pot. That is great. That's I'm just saying good. it's cool. I mean, how many people get to say that in their lifetime? <laughs> what? No. Maybe next time you could go a little less on the crazy and a little more on the fever. Bro, they having a party here? This isn't the, uh, I think I'm a deer shit, is it? No, you're smoking <laughs> the Frankenstein. The Frankenstein? Because <laughs> after you smoke it, you walk like this. <laughs> Bro, at his grandma's house too. What's up, homie? That what's up, homie? Look, you got the bong. What is this? Ew, it's JP's phone number. Lucky you. Oh. <laughs> you guys heard him talk like a robot? He's a fucking psycho. Oh no, is JP gonna be here? No, 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 You'll never get metal legs. Samantha is fucking Alex. No, ah. she's not. <laughs> he said, take that back. <laughs> Bro's having an internal conflict. 
Do you want an ice cream sandwich? Ice cream sandwich? Oh, oh, no, that's Which okay. Lettuce? You know, I think the... Bro, she's just making all the most random food ever. What? So, I mean, what's it like being old? It's got to be weird, right? Oh, no, bro. You saw a lot of stuff go down. World War One, World War Two, the automobile. How old Tupac. do you think she is? I once gave Charlie Chaplin a hand job. No way. <laughs> was he silent? <laughs> Not after I was done with him. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> you remind me of Charlie. Oh, no. Little tramp, you. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeff, it might be time to get up and go, brother. <laughs> oh, no, Jeff. I have a confession to make. You were my first. Oh, that's sweet. That's weird. Let's see. You were my 3,000-something. Uh, what? Word up. <laughs> Bro, 3,000-something? Bro, meanwhile, fucking Neo. Dude, how does he keep this room so clean, though? This shit look like sp it's spotless. When did I get a message? Oh, no. Is this the message they left last night? You have one new message. Oh, no. Hey, JP, you fucking freak. We're partying. Where are you at? Hey, JP, we celebrated the game tonight. Cap, stop it. Give me the phone. My name is JP. I am a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Oh, no. I am not amused. Bro, is he going to fire them? Oh, my God, dude. They probably don't even remember that. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> don't make this awkward, dude. It's just a new fool message really bummed me out. I want you guys to like me and you look at me like I'm a... Oh, uh, the drool? Oh, my God. Hey, everyone at Brainnasium totally respects you. I mean, you created one of the greatest games ever when you were just a kid. You're a fucking legend, man. He probably stole it. I, I am pretty amazing. What's that? Oh, it's this game I've been designing for the last couple years. The 3D mapping is so smooth. Yeah. Did you design it by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Who did the programming? Uh, I did that too. Damn, bro, he's gonna steal it. 35-year-old prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. I could like take this home for you and 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 maybe give you some notes on it or something. You know, that's something a normal person or a friend would do, right? No, that's yeah. something you would yeah, steal. Actually, that, that would Don't cool. this piece of Prepare shit. Your minds for demonic. What? This piece of shit, man. This this is my game. I've been developing this game for over three years. What are you talking about? I've been working on this game all year. You know that, Mr. Cheezle. He said he was going to give me some notes on it, not fucking steal it. Do you have another copy of the game? Nope. No. Oh, well, that's convenient. Why didn't you tell me you were designing a game? I don't know. I, I was self-conscious about it. His grandma's the only one who knows. Fuck all of you. I quit. Wait, Alex. Ooh. Let him go. Let him go. Let him find his center and realign his G. Bro, no fucking chance. I'm throwing hands. Some motherfucker steals my shit like that. Oh, I'd be hot. You actually want me to play a 90-year-old woman? 90? She's gonna win. Because she been grinding that shit. Okay, let's go. Let's start the game. <laughs> she wants smoke. You about to get your ass beat by a 90-year-old, 80-year-old, 70-year-old. Let's be generous. Dude, the game actually looks pretty good. Like, it looks like it would be fun even today. Bro, just the fact that she knows how to play it should be enough that it's his game. Oh my god. It's my grandson's game. She hit that mega transformation. Look at that shit. He's like, how the hell did you do that? That is insane. Eh. Dude shutting down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you guys Seriously. Take care, Dude doesn't JP. know how to act. Please sit on my feet. Ah! <laughs> Grandma's boy from 2006 six is in the books. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite movies I think I've watched so far. Not like the best movie in terms of like writing, dialogue, all this, just a good sit down, laugh, 
and enjoy it, bro. You know what I mean? Like this movie felt so nostalgic just from everything that was in it. You know, seeing the original Xboxes, all the movie posters, Game Informers, you know, the original Halo, Halo 2, everything in this movie just screamed nostalgic, bro. It screamed it, man. Ah, like this is a movie I want to watch again and again and again. Not only that, next time I do watch this movie, because I'm 100% going to watch this movie again at some point, I got to watch this shit high, bro. This is just a good stoner comedy movie, man. Like even, I've watched a few on the channel, man, like Pineapple Express, This Is The End and stuff like that. But I love movies that make me feel nostalgic. You know, sometimes you re-watch movies that you've seen when you were younger and it gives you that nostalgic feel, but the I've never even watched this movie before. And it gave me that nostalgic feel because of the fact of everything they put into it, bro. You know what I mean? Just to get that era, that time period of like gamers and stuff like that, game testers, things like that, man. Like the dude dressed up like Neo, you know, JP literally wanting to be him because of how popular the series was back then with the matrix and everything it's just it's so insane how much times have changed in what 20 years i, I guess i can't really say that because 20 years is a long time but still man like we've gone so far from this stuff man and don't get me wrong like i'm happy about all the advancements we've had in technology and games and things like that cgi the way video games look the way the movies look now and the things we can do you know the having computers that can run the way they do you know not having a little fucking big ass floppy disk with like 100 megabytes of storage and stuff but i miss these times man like seeing something like this makes me want to just take a room in my house and dedicate it to like early 2000s era and i know there's people that have done this you know i, I know there's youtube channels out there that have done it and i know there's just people that have done it as like a man cave and whatnot it's like a nostalgic type thing where they have like the original xbox playstation they have it all set up halo posters things like that that. seeing this makes me want to do that bro absolutely fantastic movie man i loved it i laughed my ass off there was some crazy shit in here some out there shit but that's part of what makes comedies great is when they go crazy and they do insane shit that makes you say what the hell who wrote this and how did you come up with it you know what i mean a fantastic movie guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always just if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one